Bill, can you tell us all about yourself, please? All about myself? Mm. I think the simplest thing to say is that I'm committed to a world that works for everyone. And what do you do all day? What I do all day is listen. Um, and do you do any actions based on what you're listening to? You see, most people don't get this, but listening is the most important action a human being can take. Because if you're in a room with people and you make sure that the people feel heard, you can get almost anything done. And do you, are you careful with who you listen to? No, I believe that all human beings are unique. Our brains are more complex than the number of atoms in the universe, so everyone has something to offer. So I listen pretty, pretty freely. And would you rec how would you recommend that people improve their listening skills? It's very simple. Everyone actually knows how to listen for real, but they don't do it. Most people will listen to understand, or they'll listen to judge, or they'll listen for the gap so they can have their say, but they won't actually hear the other person make them feel heard. But how you make someone feel heard is very simple. All you do is pretend that they're a great book or a good film and lose yourself. Actually recreate how they feel in yourself. Like you're watching a movie, that's how you should listen to people. And then they'll feel heard, then you'll really get them and where they're coming from, and they will love you. Very, very insightful. Um, there's a... Uh, I want to keep talking about listening, but... Um, there's a lot of buzz lately about, say... It's a bit ironic, talking about listening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, tell us about your schedule, Bill. Are you an early riser or a late riser? Um, this morning I got up at 4am to be here, so I would characterise myself as an opportunistic riser. <laughs> if I can get up late, I will, and if otherwise I'll get up early. <laughs> and is there a time of day that you're particularly productive at, in listening or doing anything else? Yeah, I would say that the, the most productive time for, for, of day for me is about 10 a.m. And if you want to waste some time, how do you do it? I don't think that time can be spent, saved or wasted. Time's all you have. So if you ask me how I enjoy myself, I enjoy myself through a range of things like contributing to other people, through my charitable work, through startups, through listening. All of these things are fun. But I also like, you know, movies and manga and media and music and all that stuff too. Plus I play golf. Oh. And uh, are there any thought leaders or writers in business who you really recommend? Well, there's rely so on? many, so many. But my favorite is the science fiction author William Gibson. And my all-time favorite quote is, the future's already happened, it's just not evenly distributed. That was, uh, and is he right about business or do you read science fiction and extract things from that, that I, I, I think science fiction is a great place to look for where business should be headed um, I think there are a lot of lessons there that have been uh, overlooked by mainstream business publications mind you I do love some great business books I like things like you know, Purple Cow Made to Stick Speed of Trust all those good good things Guy Kawasaki stuff is fantastic and do you think it's true then that, 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 um, that great artists oh no good artists borrow and great artists steal the famous Steve Jobs quote yeah I think that's true. Um, what does it mean for you? I, I think that innovation is inversely proportional to formality and a culture where ideas are exchanged very freely and occasionally stolen is one which is in delightfully informal. That's probably why you reacted so badly when I said I was a lawyer. Uh, you, what you mean me running away screaming at the speed of light? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so uh, last couple of questions. Do you have any thoughts on the startup scene in Ireland? More controversial the better. I think that there is a startup scene in Ireland, but it's only recently starting to become a scene. Mm -hmm. I think that every place in the world there's startup. But you know that comment about formality that I made before? I think there's been a bit too much formality. It needs to be mixed up a bit. Okay, and uh, there's, you've given fantastic advice uh, in this interview. Do you have any other piece of advice that's unique, maybe from your experience, that you'd like to pass on to, to people yeah, starting very companies? Simple. Whatever you're creating, whatever it is, focus on value creation and not value extraction. You can extract value, that's fine, but if you're not creating it, you can get a job with Accenture or something like that. Well, Bill, thank you very much. Thanks.
That was actually an awesome interview.